All right, Bears fans, welcome back. Bear down, and I'm actually going to move off the screen. Bye-bye. This is for Ricky Stromberg today. This happened yesterday in the midst of everything going on. Nate Davis, the press conference for Thomas Brown and everything else going on. It got lost in the shuffle that Ricky Stromberg was signed to the Bears practice squad. Up top left there, you'll see the two transactions outside of the Nate Davis transaction yesterday that occurred. Uh, we elevated Jake Kierhan to the active roster. And in a corresponding move, the opening spot for the practice squad, we filled with Ricky Stromberg. I really, really, really like this move. All right, we'll move me back on because I'm going to talk about it. Ricky Stromberg, I didn't have this channel started yet, but on, on different forums, I was talking about Ricky Stromberg and how much I liked him in as a draft prospect. Because I didn't see the Bears taking in 2023 a high uh, center in the draft, but a third, fourth round prospect. I liked him. And by most places, he was considered to be a fourth-round prospect. He ended up getting drafted the 98th overall pick, which is the end of the third round, uh, by the Washington Commanders. And injury-riddled his career. He's been cut at the end of August after having an, a knee surgery last year. So his 2023 was cut short because of knee injury. He had surgery on it. This year, same riddled knee. So the Commanders have settled out an injury reserve settlement for his contract. He's off their team in August. Seven to eight week recovery, which makes me think the Bears have actually been looking at Ricky for a while because now he just cleared that window where he's getting better. And by all counts, it sounds like he's healthy. So now he's signed to the Bears practice squad. And this is a flyer. And I love what everyone's buzzing about him because this is a big opportunity. You can see right below the, uh, right below, right above where I'm looking here. And right below the uh, transaction list, fun Ricky Stromberg story. His family grew up diehard Bears fans, season ticket holders, I believe. He has to be thrilled for him and his family. He's wearing number 67. On the right there, kind of the breaking news for it, Chris Emma. The Bears have signed center Ricky Stromberg to the practice squad. He was a third-round pick by the Commanders in 2023. The team had him at House Hall for a top 30 visit prior to the draft. So the Bears were looking into him before he was drafted by the Commanders. And then Bill Zimmerman, Kevin Fishbane... Quiet nods of approval. And this is last when he was cut, September 2nd. Commander's Ricky Stromberg has been released after being placed on IR a few days ago. And it was an IR settlement for him. So this is actually huge news for me. This could be a low-key signing that the Bears can develop. And by all accounts, you know, he hasn't worked in the NFL. Injury riddled. And when he did play, let me go to the next over here. Let me, let me go over here to the next one for you guys. When he did play... Um, let's skip over here. We'll come back. When he did play, so here's his nat, his snaps, all his his NFL snaps. If you look right there below the first orange line, 2023, only 26 total snaps, and none of them were at center. He played center in college. So if you look here at the bottom, let me actually take this little thing. I like to use this as a pointer sometimes. So hello, little Bear Down logo. This 2019 season, he only played guard as he first came into college football, but he's been good all of his years in college football. Look at the green and the light green, all those. That's really good. His final year in college, zero sacks, only 11 hurries allowed, 11 pressures total. This first year of him playing center here, right here, one sack total, but only four pressures. His NFL uh, pass block efficiency, 99.2 there, which is elite. So all those snaps, pass blocking center, all those, those last three years, these were all center these last three years, and he barely allowed any pressures in college. Now, he only allowed one pressure in 21 pass-blocking opportunities. Didn't have the best grades, so there's other things with his metrics he needs to work out. But he's, like I said, he's been injury-riddled. And these were all at guard. He didn't play any center for the commanders. And really, this is just a matter of him needing to be able to be developed and be able to get time and snaps and opportunity without injury. So it's a great flyer for the Bears. I love the idea of taking this flyer because if he can stay healthy and if we can develop him, he could be the center of the future for the Bears. Absolutely. So pre, pre-draft pre prospect here. This is Ricky Stromberg and his RAS score. I know we like to look at it. It doesn't mean everything, but he's a very athletic center. Uh, 5.89 grade, 7.57, but overall 9.75 overall grade. But the only thing that's low is his height and his weight. And for center, and not to knock on Caleb, but Caleb's six foot one, six foot one center, six foot three. There's six foot one uh, quarterback. A six foot three center is not a bad thing at all. It's actually really good. And his weight has gone up a little bit. He's 306 here. 
uh, in the NFL. He's 313. So here's his draft prospect. He was the seventh graded uh, center in the 2023 draft. Probably the most notable one is Juice Scruggs there at number nine. He's got a lot of starting reps. He's done really well for the Texans. So that's probably the no, most notable center in this draft. But Ricky Stromberg was drafted 98th overall by the Commanders. Everything on him, his scouting reports, everything looked really good for him. Uh, seems like a very committed, very stable person. Injury is the only thing that's been riddling him. So I love this signing. I think every Bears fan should be aware of it, be excited for it. I think he would automatically uh, duck, jump right over Doug Kramer as long as he's healthy. Doug Kramer was a late-round pick who just hasn't developed. I mean, the best notable thing for Doug Kramer is he's been a decent fullback for us other than the fumble. So uh, this is a good pick. This is a good, good developmental player on our practice squad who can develop into a very good potential player that could uh, – I'm not saying he's going to start, but he can get some reps and we'll see what we can do with him because it would be a lot of fun. Anyways, this got lost in the shuffle yesterday. This was big news for me. Very minor news as far as the NFL goes because it's a practice squad signing, but I think this is huge. This is this is what the Bears need to do. Keep focusing on the offensive line. Bring some of these guys in. Develop them. This is the stuff I always want us to do, and we went and did it yesterday, so that's huge. With that, appreciate you guys tuning in. Please hit the like button if you haven't done so. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And until next time, da Bears.